Right. Let's move all these branches out of the way. Let's build us a tree. So, um, we'll have a new cylinder. I'm going to call this one trunk. And subdivision axis. We're going to start with six. Um, and the height of this bad boy is going to be 700. So it's a nice tall tree. You can see at the moment that's far too skinny. Um, and we're going to do... We're going to move this up on Y by 350. That's rotate. We're going to move this up on Y by about 350. There we go. Right. And then we need to put a little bit of thickness in this bad boy. Let me see. Um, a little bit more than that. So I'm just upping the radius. I think I need to go for about... Let me see. Yeah, I like that. That's a good starting point. So my radius I've started with is um, 7.4. So about 7.5. Okay, so that's alright. And then what we need to do is get that thinned out at the top because uh, these trees, as you've seen at the beginning of the video, at the beginning of the tutorial, um, they get thinner at the top. So let's select all the verts at the top, and we're just going to scale these in. Whoa, I've missed one. Try again, mister. Try again. There we go. Scale them in to form a point. That's pretty pointy. Object mode. Yeah, that's all right. And then we need to do a little bit of work on the bottom just to make this look like it is a tree. So I'll go back to the multi-cut tool and we're going to hold control. Okay, so at the bottom of this tree, we're going to need a few edge loops. So I'm going to put, and I, I want to be as careful as I can about not using too many, but I do need this tree to flare out a little bit at the bottom. So I think I'm going to give myself three edge loops to do that. Okay, I'm going to go into edge mode now and we will select this, in fact, let's do all the edges at once. Oh, no, that's not right. That one, that one, and that one. And I'm just going to scale that in quite drastically at first. Um, And then let's scale that in not quite as much. And then just this row at the top. Oh, what am I doing? Just this one like that. And I think this one I'm going to bring down a little bit. And this one. Yeah. Okay, so you can see now I've got this sort of flaring effect going on at the bottom. I'm also going to go into vertex mode and I'm just going to adjust some of these vertices to make it look like it's got roots going on really. So let's just move some of these around just to make the bottom of the tree a little bit more interesting. Move that one out there. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at what the the tree's looking like overall. Um, yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so I think to keep it simple, that will be um, a good enough trunk. I'm happy with that. So now what we need to do is some texturing and some UV mapping. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to work quite hard to get the UV set up on this trunk nice and even. So we're going to assign a new material, uh, we'll do it as a Lambert, and the colour, instead of using the actual bark texture, we're not going to go that far yet, we're going to use this checker pattern. So let's uh, see what that's doing. You can see that is not good. What we're really looking for is nice small squares on this. So we need to set this up to give us that. 
So we're going to select. Uh, we're going to select the trunk now, and then we're going to go to our UV editor to see what we're working with. And actually, that's not bad, but I think we can do a little bit better. So let's do a UV map. So I'm going to start with a automatic map. And that will better represent the shape of the tree that we've created. So there it is, you can see. I'm going to put this into edge mode. And we need to get this to be one continuous unwrap, really. And you can see it's been split into parts. So we're just going to have one seam going down the, the tree. And we're going to set that up. So we're looking for edges that need connecting. So that edge there clearly needs connecting. So we're going to go polygons, move and sew edges. And that will put those two together. And I can see there's another two edges there. So move and sew those. And there's one more to do. Polygons, move and sew. And that is basically the, the tree. You can see down the bottom we've got the shape because it differed. And that might have a bit of an effect on the tree that we've created, uh, on the UVs. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. That there represents the bottom of the tree, which we actually don't need to worry about. And I'm not sure where the top has been put. I assume it's up here somewhere. Or maybe the top and bottom are overlapping. That's not really an issue anyway. It's just the... Um, the size that we need to worry about. So I'm now going to just put this into shell mode. I'm going to get this tool here, which is the optimize UV tool. And what this does is, let's get a nice big brush, is it resizes the UVs so that you get nice even squares, usually. It's not always perfect, but it does give quite a good effect. So I'm just painting this like that. Okay, so now what we'll do is we're going to just press W to get rid of that tool. I'm going to put it into shell mode. And I want nice, like I said earlier, I want nice small squares on this. So I'm going to scale this up until I'm getting some squares. Okay, that is actually now seeing so you see. Oh, where am I? You can see that I'm getting squares, and squares are what I wanted to see. I didn't want to see rectangles. So let's check down the bottom, see if there are any rectangles going on there. It's a long way down this tree. It's like the tallest tree ever. I'm not convinced it's going to be thick enough. I might need to change that later. Okay, so down at the bottom, I think that's where the seam is. Hopefully it's nice and continuous everywhere else. So it's a little bit seamy at the bottom, which is not ideal. So let's just go back down here and see if there's anything we can do about that. It might be that some edges need sewing together. And I think that is the case. So let's put this into edge mode. And we'll look for any... Yeah. So this set of edges here need sewing together. So we'll do move and sew. And the same for these. So, move and sew those. And here. So, we just need to make sure that they are. What's going on here? Just need to make sure that they're all nicely sewn together. So, move and sew. And then I'm going to bring in my optimized UV brush again. I'll just get a bigger brush. And I just want to make sure that that is nice and optimized. Okay, that's not amazing. So I've still got this seam here, which is not great. But overall, I think we'll get away with that. So that's the tree UV mapped. So you can see that the, um, the squares do get bigger as you move further up the tree. But thankfully, uh, because of the fact that the tree is going to be high, you won't really see that. So that's 
nice enough, I think, for the trunk of the tree. All that we need to do now is find those leaves. And we're just going to UV map this. So, this is what the, uh, the mapping looks like at the moment. Let's just assign that checker texture to it. So, assign existing material, it'll be Lambert 3. That actually isn't bad. I'm going to put it into shell mode. Uh, let's just scale this up. So there is going to be some distortion because of the way that we pulled those together. Um, but no, I think that's pretty nice. So you can see that's now, we've got nice squares on there. They're ready for the material. So let's make that material and assign it. And then we'll be uh, ready to put the branches on the tree. So, we're going to assign a new material to this, a new Lambert, I'm going to call this Lambert uh, Bark, and for the colour, I'm going to choose a file, and it's going to be, what do we call it, it's that one there isn't it, the Seamless Pine Bark, and there we go, that's now gone on there. And that looks okay, I'm happy enough with that. Okay, we'll apply that one to this, assign existing material bark. Make sure that I'm happy with it. Let me just get these vertices and frame those up. Um, yeah, I think up close that looks okay. So now, we need to get some branches on this tree. So we just need to finish putting these branches together. So let's find this we need to duplicate this so that each one of these branches has got one so let's duplicate that and hopefully if we go to the top view these should all be in roughly the same place so it shouldn't be difficult to attach one of these branches like that. So I'm happy enough with all of those. Now obviously if I was being really careful about this I'd make sure that um, the colour of the bark matched. But again this is actually quite a forgiving tree to make so uh, I think I'll get away with that. Right now let's make each one of these branches ready to attach. So we're going to go to, so I've selected the stump and the, the main branch. We're going to go mesh combine and then I'm going to go to Modify Center Pivot. But I actually don't want to center the pivot. What I want to do, so I'm going to press um, D, which puts you into pivot move mode, and I'm going to press V, because that snaps to vertex. I'm just going to snap that to that vertex. And I'm just going to move into uh, my perspective view, because as you can see, I press D and V again, that wasn't quite in the right place. So now I've got my pivot point, so that'll make it a lot easier when I'm attaching those branches. I need to repeat this for the other four branches. So it's going to be mesh combine, we'll do modify, center pivot just to get that a bit closer. D and V, let's bring that over here and over here. Um, D and V, let's move it up. Yep, that's pretty close. Let's get this one, mesh combine, modify center pivot, and then we're going to move that pivot to the right place, or as close as we can get it, that'll do, and one final one to do, mesh, combine, modify center pivot, and then it's going to be D and V. Let's pull that over here. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Is that the right place? Pull it up. I need to change angle. I'm nowhere near. Nowhere near. What are you doing? Yeah, and that'll do. Okay, so we've now got one, two, three, four branches. Okay, each one of these branches has got a lot of history going on. So I'm going to select them all. Modify, no, edit, delete by type history and so 
they've not got really good names, so let's rename these again. So our branch one, branch two, branch three, branch four. And what we need to do now is arrange these branches on the tree. So we'll do that in the next step.